So, far away Nisha, what's your favourite moment in the Matrix trilogy? Definitely one of the slow mo moments, because that's awesome. But okay, where um, Neo's doing the like cartwheel and he's shooting <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Upside down machine gun shooting, very strong choice. The Matrix is a film series that revitalised the, at the time, stagnant action genre. The judicious application of slow-mo, gun-fu and twirling mouth slaps delivered at half the speed of sound to a bunch of unfortunate extras. In regards to the latter, actress carrie Ann Moss reportedly spent many months practicing the signature kick of her character, a kick she threw so hard she accidentally broke her own leg. Before we get to the point of Trinity breaking her leg, mm -hmm. we have to talk about the amazing fight scenes in the films. We do, yeah, because the Matrix fight scenes are phenomenal and still hold up today. And they were all choreographed by an industry legend called Yuen Wu Ping, who is like one of the best fight choreographers. For anyone unfamiliar with Wu Ping's work, the easiest way to sum up how good he is is to say that he's the guy who directed the Crazy 88 fight in Kill Bill, meaning he is responsible for footage of Uma Thurman breakdancing the legs off suit wearing samurais. So obviously then he got brought in to choreograph the fight scenes for The Matrix. He did, yes, and he was a reportedly none too happy about that when he discovered that almost every principal actor working on the film um, had no real familiarity with martial arts. And because of this, one of his stipulations for choreographing the movie was that before they even started rolling the cameras, um, he got six months with all of the actors to give them a crash course in kicking ass led by him. All that sounds pretty awesome, to be honest. It is awesome, and there's some great behind-the-scenes footage of Wu Ping working with the actors, uh, which is really funny because I, I don't know if it is true, but I'd like to think that it is, that um, the line of, I know Kung Fu, that um, <laughs> Neo says in the film is oddly similar to something Keanu Reeves actually said in real life behind the scenes when he's talking about, <laughs> I, I had to learn Kung Fu. Wu Ping is a fucking yeah. badass. He tra he's, we've been training with him for months. And although we're singling out Carrie Ann Moss to talk about today, there were a lot of injuries on the set of The Matrix before production even began. Um, one of the worst being Keanu Reeves, who I think broke his neck or his back, or like a vertebrae, uh, which resulted in him not having very good mobility. And as a result, he couldn't throw kicks, which annoyed Wu Ping. He's like, well, I wanted his fighting style to be all about kicks. So he had to go back to the drawing board and caught with a new fighting style for Keanu Reeves, which revolved around punching and dodging. Epitomised by that great scene at the end of the film where he's just tur 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 against Agent Smith. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that thing that Wu Ping did for Keanu Reeves, like inventing him a fighting style, is something he did for every actor on the film. And every actor's fighting style reflects their characterization. And in specific regards to Carrie Ann Moss's character, Trinity, Wu Ping was apparently very excited to work with her. And uh, the fighting style he eventually developed for Trinity uh, was one that was supposed to highlight her lethal adaptability in combat, as evidenced by this clip of Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity kicking the shit out of Infinite Henchmen. So what is this about her signature kick? Uh, well, Trinity has a couple of signature moves. The most famous is probably uh, the spider kick, which is where she jumps into the air and you get that slow-mo pan around. <laughs> the other one though, and the one that Wu Ping was most excited about, is one he called the scorpion kick. And that's the one where Trinity throws her leg over the back of her own head and kicks a guy in the head. That's not a stunt actress. That is actually Carrie Ann Moss doing that in a skin-tight leather outfit. The problem is that the scorpion kick it required a level of flexibility ordinarily not found outside of especially kinky ballerinas. And Carrie Ann Moss trained for months to learn how to do it, but um, she actually trained so hard and practiced so much, she broke her own leg learning how to do it. <laughs> it gets a bit better because that's not the only time she broke her leg trying to be Trinity because <laughs> on the set of the first Matrix, um, she actually broke her ankle. That for most people is a debilitating injury that will put you on your ass um, for a month, if not more. 
But for Carrie Ann Moss, it wasn't. And she actually turned up to set and continued filming and didn't tell anyone that she was injured because she was worried that if she said she'd been injured, they'd just recast her. Because this being the first movie, they could have realistically recast Trinity without much issue. And Carrie Ann Moss was so scared of that happening, she just came to work with a broken ankle and filmed The Matrix. You know, a film that one of its most iconic moments is her jumping 10 feet into the air and kicking a guy across a room. So how did how did she manage to do that on a broken ankle? Uh, she just powered through. Like, it really hurt, how? but she did it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, she did it, and then the second movie, she broke her leg again. But by that point, they can't recast Trinity, so they let her recover and they film with other actors first. But um, after she recovered from the leg break, she had to spend another six months learning to walk again, and then a six months learning that kick. Things that actors and actresses do just for one scene in a one film. Take, it's yeah. amazing, like, the injuries they go through. Well, yeah, like, Jackie Chan is the king of this. Um, there is a very, like, he's famously the most injured man in all of Hollywood. And, like, he does hundreds and hundreds of takes of stunts that are, like, constitute, like, five seconds of the film that he's going to be in. And there's a famous mm -hmm. story about the film, I think, Armour of God. There is a badminton scene, or a scene where they're playing, like, sh some kind of sport. So it's not anything that's going to injure him, but it's very strenuous. And that took him, like, a thousand takes to get right. Jesus. And they asked him, like, why don't you just cut and do, like, you know, just fix it in editing? He's like, because that's not how I do movies. The audience will know <laughs> it's fake, and so will I, and I don't want that. So far away, Nisha, in a roundabout way, the discussion of today's talk has been one singular kick, a really cool kick from a really good movie with martial arts in it. So, Nisha, do you have a favourite kick from a martial arts movie? We asked me the iconic one from The Karate Kid. Oh, the crane kick. The Miyagi crane kick. The illegal kick. The illegal kick to the face that should have got Daniel LaRusso kicked out of the All Valley Karate Tournament. Because uh, <laughs> I recently watched um, uh, at Cobra Kai, it's on Netflix. I'm not sure when this is going out, but yeah, it's, it's, it's out. It's pretty good. I recommend it. Um, and they talk about how that kick is illegal. Because one of the things that fans over the years are like, that movie's bullshit because LaRusso wins the kick to the face. And the first thing the referee says is no kicks to the face. And they show that like 20, 30 years later, um, Johnny Lawrence is still pissed off about the fact that Daniel LaRusso won with an illegal kick. <laughs> 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 that show as well is so much better than it has any right to be. Because I, the final episode of the second season has what might be one of the best fight scenes I've seen in a TV show. Like, I'm putting it up there with the fight scenes in Daredevil. You know, like the three-minute one-shots of Daredevil backflip kicking bikers? Yeah. In a hallway. <laughs> like... It's up there with that because it's like a fight between Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do karate school in school. And you think, okay, it's going to be like, what, a 30-second minute-long fight scene? It goes on for pretty much the entire episode. It's like a 10-minute fight scene in a school. <laughs> and you're like, how is this a TV show? How have they got the, like, the effort to do this? It's like just kids doing karate kicks to each other because they've got all the ages of children. You have like five-year-old karate masters kicking the shit out of each other. It's a good show, but um, it gets, uh, do not watch it like I did after watching The Karate Kid because it makes you realize, oh my God, Johnny Lawrence is such a salty motherfucker because at the end of The Karate Kid, he shakes hands with Daniel and says, you're pretty yeah. good. And he's basically a non-factor in that movie. He's in it for about 10 minutes. And they show that 30 years later, he's still depressed and angry about it. It's like, fucking get over it. <laughs> it's been 30 years, who gives a shit? You lost a karate tournament. Oh, they also as well, he drinks and drives a lot in that show and that really annoys me. Ooh. Like, there's a lot yeah, of episodes like... They do one episode where he actually gets told off for it, but there's another one where he, like, he goes to a bar and he stumbles out pissed drunk and they, the valet gives him his keys and he drives home. It's like, what? How is that? <laughs> how is this a thing that happened <laughs> anyway? Why did he give him his keys? That makes no but, sense. I don't know, but uh, like Cobra <laughs> Kai, pretty good. But uh, yeah. I think my uh, favourite kick, or the one that I, I just, it sticks out in my mind just for the amount of power behind the kick is in the film Warrior King, which we talked about on the channel before, but 
There is a fight scene in a flaming church where uh, Tony Jaa, the main character, who wants his elephant back, fights a giant wrestler man. And the guy's like seven and a half feet tall in real life. And in this fight scene, he just throws a very basic sidekick. Really basic, just a sidekick. It's like, you know, like 45 degree angle, if that, off the ground. But it hits the main character with so much force, he flies like eight feet back. And knowing Tony Jaa and knowing how that film was made, I'm inclined to believe that the hit was real. Yeah. Because this guy is just so massive and Tony Jaa is so small compared to him. I'm inclined to believe that that kick actually did just send him like five feet through the air. And in a similar vein, like it's another, it's a very simple kick, but like the impact on it um, is just so ridiculous. And it is in um, Enter the Dragon or Game of Death. I forget which specific Bruce Lee film it is, but it's the one where he goes to the island and he enters into this karate tournament. And it's the one where Bruce Lee runs for what seems like five straight minutes in slow motion and kicks the guy and he flies into a crowd of people behind him. And the story behind that kick is, is that that was like the fifth, sixth take. And every time they did it, um, the director would come up and tell Bruce, like, kick harder. And he's like, I don't want to kick him harder, I'll hurt him. And he's like, no, you need to kick him harder. And the actor thinks Bob Wall, Bob Hall, maybe, yeah. who was playing the guy he's kicking. He's like, come on, Bruce, you're not going to hurt me. And Bruce Lee got really, really mad about it. So he went, okay, I'm going to kick him as hard as I can. And you see that when Lee delivers the kick, that he crouches down slightly. So he can not yeah. only kick the guy, but also extend his other leg that's planted into the ground to lift him off the ground. And the guy Jesus. flies back, and behind the scenes, that guy hit the extra behind him so hard, that extra broke his arm. Meaning, Bruce Lee no. kicked someone so hard, someone else's arm broke. <laughs> and it's like, what are you supposed to do about that? He's got magic feet. 